What's up gamers, it's your boy Boar here and today I want to talk about the new announcement by Blizzard that there will not be an MMR set in Overwatch 2 which honestly I think is pretty stupid and I'll tell you exactly what I mean by that but first let's get into this entire thing and show you the comment from blizzard blizzard has stated very obviously here that there will be no mmr set in overwatch 2 meaning that everyone will carry over their rank from overwatch 1 to overwatch 2 which honestly hosts a lot of issues and i am a big fan of an mmr reset and i know a lot of people are not your mmr in overwatch 1 should not carry over to overwatch 2 in any way why well Blizzard is promoting Overwatch 2 as its own separate game in the first place and they keep trying to make this entire story up that Overwatch 2 is a completely separate game from Overwatch 1. So why the hell do we carry over the MMR from Overwatch 1, a 6v6 game with different heroes, with 2CP heroes like Orisa and Doomfist that have completely been rewarded for Overwatch 2, when we can just reset all of it and just start anew. It's a new beginning, a clean slate. We should all begin anew everyone should get a chance to either climb to the rank they truly think they deserve because a lot of people are adamant that their hearts suck in elo hell and they can do better or the people that are not able to actually keep up with the time should drop their mmr it is not guaranteed that every single player that is grandmaster master diamond or whatever rank they are truly deserves their rank in overwatch 2 maybe even i do not deserve my rank in overwatch 2 i want to see how i'm gonna perform in overwatch 2 is that too much to ask for i don't think so i don't want to see old school risa one tricks ruining people's games on day one in overwatch 2 just because their hero got reworked and they can no longer play the hero i don't want to see doomfist one tricks that have played doomfist for the last three years on dps category or doomfist mains in general ruin people's games for the first few weeks because they cannot play any other tank and they need to learn it okay this is gonna happen that is why we need an MMR reset. And yeah, you can make the silly argument that, oh no, uh, the games are going to be ruined for a week or two and Smurfs are going to be too much or whatever. Games are going to be ruined anyways for a week or two in the first place because people are going to be learning characters. And second of all, I rather have my games be ruined for a week or two than be ruined for life because there's a bunch of people who don't deserve to be at their rank currently. Why? Because there has been no decay for the last few years. There has been no decay. Can you believe it? No decay. People just sit, play in GM MMR. They end the season, they go back to 3.9, but their MMR is still the same. So they climb back up with just two or three wins or even are just sitting at Masters, which is as ridiculous. You can be currently in GM, in top five fronted by not playing the game. For the last few years, I hope you realize this, but there are people at Grandmaster Top 5 Frontlet that have not played the game in over four years, that have queued up, won a few games, and are back to Grandmaster. They do not belong back here. They need some time to get used to it, or maybe just fall back because they are not up with the times. I know we haven't really gotten any new heroes or patches in general, but it is absolutely silly that these people can be brought back to grandmaster and ruin people's games on a daily basis no offense to them it is not a problem with them it's a problem with the system and yes there will be a decay system in overwatch 2 but nobody knows how it's gonna work in the first place what if i play a few games the season before before we swap to overwatch 2 and now i don't get a decay anymore what then do i deserve to be in grandmaster in top 5 fronted just because i played a few games in a different game, in a 5v5 environment, in a solo tank environment. There's so many people that rely on double shield or some silly double tank compositions. And they can no longer do that. What if you were dueled with another off tank player and you were a really good combo. But you on your own as a solo tank, you're really bad. There is no universe that we do not MMR reset at the beginning of this new chapter for us. Okay, It's a blank slate. It is absolutely new. And we should feel new. It doesn't feel good to start up the game and have people be GM already at the beginning of the Overwatch 2 season. It makes no sense to anyone. I strongly, strongly, strongly prompt Blizzard to reconsider this silly notion of no MMR reset in our game. It is horrible for the game. Every single competitive game does some sort of MMR reset, be it soft or hard they do it eventually be it at the beginning of the year or between seasons you get a soft mmr reset or a soft sr reset 
or anything. Why? Because the game is changing. It's fluid. It's a live service game and it constantly gets updates. People come and go. People stop and return. And when they return, there is no guarantee that these people will be able to keep up with the times. They will be able to keep up with the new heroes and the new changes and the new game balance. There is no way that that is guaranteed. That is why they have a decay system in place or a soft MMR reset between seasons to keep it always competitive. I do not want to see another person in my games ask me, why am I here? I don't want to see another person tell me I haven't played in the last few years. I don't want to see it happen in Overwatch 2. If you want to have a system that is actually competitive, if you want people to compete, if you want people to feel good about competing in the first place, then do not put players that haven't played the game in a long time in our games. Because... Oh, it's going to make them feel bad if we MMR reset. Screw that. It's competitive. Feelings have nothing to do with competitive integrity. Keep it good. Keep it simple. I do not care if George or Jeff stop playing the game because you did an MMR reset and they are no longer masters and they now need to climb back. I don't care and nobody should care either because as I said, it's ranked. You're supposed to compete with other people. It's not about feelings. It's not about how they feel. It's about keeping it strong, keeping it competitive. It is so much more fun to watch and play. The people that will keep your game alive outside of casuals are the hardcore gamers that enjoy grinding this game and talking about this game. They are the core of every single game. They keep it going. They keep the cogs spinning. If you do not have a community like that, if they're not satisfied at all, and honestly, they will never be satisfied because a bunch of them are losers. But if you do not have a strong community like that, your game will flop eventually. If you just appease to a wide casual audience. And not to mention that even if you MMR reset, what are people afraid of? What is going to happen in the first place? You're just going to have to climb back to the MMR, to the rank that you think you deserve to be at. And if you can't climb back then, well, tough luck. That means you don't deserve to be there. If I am not able to get to GM or top 10 again in Overwatch 2, it's because I don't deserve to be there. And I want to grind and I want to improve and I want to get there by myself by pushing myself and getting better every day. I don't want to be complacent. I don't want to be sitting there chilling, smoking my bong and eating pizza all day and say, well, I've done it all. You know, I've got to GM and now I can camp my rank for the rest of the season and then rest next seasons and play a few games here and there. It needs to be constantly competitive. And I know this applies mostly for high ranked players and low rank players. To be honest, even if you get an MMR reset, you're going to be back to your MMR in no time. You're going to be back there in zero time. As a matter of fact, you might get a chance to climb to higher heights because there's an MMR reset. I don't believe in Elo Hell, but who cares? I believe in an MMR reset. This is the MMR reset movement, okay? And... A lot of people are so scared of boosting, of cheaters, of GM players smurfing. Screw all of that. GM players at the beginning of the season, streamers, nobody will sit there, grind in lower elos to smurf on a bunch of kids they don't care about. No, they will not because a lot of these people, 99% of us, want to compete. It will be so exciting to watch streamers, old school gamers like Kabaji and ml7 and maybe me if you truly like watching me and you've watched me back in the day you watch them have their passion reignited to climb to high sr at the beginning of the new season to get that rank one don't you want to see it everyone queuing up doing this race of who can get to rank one first through fire and flames to go through everything grind it out you know it will be so exciting to watch as a viewer there will be so much content and these people will not stay in your ranks for a long time and if they stay as i said well tough luck they deserve to be there they are washed up the system is different they need to learn it is time to improve blizzard cannot get away with both promoting the game as a new game and not giving us an mmr reset it is silly as hell they cannot get away with it okay and they shouldn't i'm and i'm so tired of everyone being scared of random stuff and change in this community or in general People are always so scared of change. What is going to happen if you MMR reset? Nothing is going to change. Every game does it. It's the norm. 
that's how you keep competitive integrity and everyone is like no we don't need an mmr reset you know what if you think we don't need an mmr reset you're probably scared that you're gonna lose your rank and you're not gonna be able to climb back up let's be honest that is one of the few reasons why you're scared about mmr reset because you're scared you're not gonna be able to climb back to your rank you're scared that you're not gonna be able to compete on the highest level or the level you are at you're scared you're gonna lose and honestly don't be do not be scared sometimes you have to give up everything and go again to reach new heights what can i say stop this nonsense people were scared about leaderboards people were against ping systems everyone is fear mongering in this community as if it's like world war free we have a civil war here over an mmr reset because people are gonna be a little bit sad nobody cares nobody cares nobody should care i want an mmr reset a lot of streamers want mmr reset a lot of players want mmr reset even if it's not hard mmr reset even if it's a soft mmr reset screw it just do an mmr reset only for me only for me i am so up for the mmr reset I, just do it for me only i don't care i really couldn't care less i want it i want to challenge myself and i think if you're a true grinder if you want to grind the game if you want to prove your skill and be called a god gamer you should want an mmr reset as well what i'm trying to say is do not be afraid of the mmr reset do not be afraid of any of it we should embrace it it's a new beginning it's a clean slate we shouldn't carry over any of the horrible things like overwatch one rank to overwatch two we should begin anew, we should start anew, and we should embrace it, and we should start improving and learn the game from a blank beginning. And not rely on our past ranks and enjoy a new season. It will be called season 1 after all, so why not do an MMR reset? I strongly believe it is the right choice. A lot of pro players believe it's the right choice. And even though the game is there to promote to a casual player base, Casual players don't even care about this in the first place, let's be honest. And it's gonna help a lot of people be really excited to play ranked again because they can start anew, we can all start again, and we can see what everyone can do from there. Not to mention, we're no longer gonna have people that have peaked GM back in the day and now are GM again. We're no longer gonna see people that played in GM on top 500 during RoQ, and when RoQ came back, they had GM MMR on DPS and support. And now they just play a few placements and then they can call themselves Masters or GM. Screw that, okay? I and many other people have played before RoQ and when RoQ came out, I played placements. I got to Masters on DPS and support. Do I deserve to be Masters on DPS and support? Probably not. I'm throwing people's games like that. I want an MMR reset so I can see what's my rank on those roles as well. I don't want these people in my games. I don't want to get people queue up when they have no idea how to play their role if you're gonna queue up you should be queuing up at your elo okay we should push for greatness for improvement and we should keep the developers always in check and i know i'm gonna get a lot of people disagreeing with me in the comments below i know a lot of people are gonna be really angry and stuff and i know a lot of the community are gonna be like this boar guy is so stupid and mark said it's not gonna solve anything well, you know what? We have not had any MMR reset for the last few years. Ranked has been nothing but horrible. And yes, MMR reset will not solve every issue with ranked, but it's the right step in the right direction. And I will push for it until I watch two releases. And inevitably, it probably will not have an MMR reset. And I will be really disappointed. And the entire community will be really disappointed as well. But I will fight for it until then. And I will promote it. And you should understand why it's good to have an MMR reset. Do not be afraid. Do not be scared. It's not going to kill your game. It's not going to ruin your games. It's going to be fun for everyone. Even if for a few days you play against really high rank gamers, which you probably will not because high rank gamers are like 0.1% of the game. Or, okay, let's say 5% of the player base are high rank diamond plus or something like that. Well, these people will just climb back to their ranks as fast as possible and there are not that many people there there's going to be a lot more new players there's going to be a lot more people just increasing the player base and allowing things to be more balanced out throughout so do not be afraid embrace mmr reset and push for this new burger agenda of mmr reset i love the idea i hope they execute it and i hope 
they're not scared to do anything about it big decisions big changes are necessary for our game to succeed and for me to not be a dying streamer anyways that is all i have to say about this topic i hope you understand me it is kind of silly in the sense that i didn't really prepare a script or anything i just ranted uh and you know i just talked about it and i want to announce that i'm making a competition in my discord where the winner gets a fractal PC case, which can go up to $150, $200. And it is a really good case. Fractal is a really good company. You're just going to have to make a video that's 1 minute and 30 seconds long. You have about a week to make it. And I am going to write all the rules here. I'm going to showcase them on the video. More details in my Discord. Join my Discord. And you should also follow my TikTok and my shorts video channel which i upload stuff in thank you for watching take care see you next time peace out tylko jedno w głowie mam koksu 5 gram odleciec sam w krainę zapomnienia w głowie myśli mam kiedy skończy się ten stan gdy już nie będę sam bo wiedzie biały węgiel tylko jedno w głowie mam koksu 5 gram odleciec sam w krainę zapomnienia